My name is Aysen Chen. I'm a student at Digital Business Concept uh, from Vantis, and I participated in a minor data-driven business lab. Uh, we work on a project with uh, OneAiming, which is a natural observation platform, and uh, they collect data through a um, citizen science program. A citizen science program is basically a uh, program where uh, every citizen or everyone can participate. They can use their phone and make observation in the nature, uh, take picture of wild animals or plants or whatever, and, up and upload these data onto the Wanaming database. The majority of the data from Wanaming is from citizen science, and uh, naturally from citizen science data, uh, a bias always exists. And one of our major goal is to mitigate this bias and make a visualization for the data to show insights that's reflective. There will always be bias in citizen science data. And one example is when people collect data based on certain bias, for example, spatial selection bias, when people choose to, observe, to make observation somewhere near their home or where it's convenient for them. The research question we have is to ask ourselves what is the bias in the data sets and how can we find a way to mitigate this bias or at the very least reduce its effects on the data sets. Secondly, we also have research questions on what is the best way to create a dashboard that can show insights that best reflect the data we have. For data preparation, we divided all the coordinates in our observation data into grids. And with these grids, we're hoping to apply a distribution model that will fill the gap uh, in the parts of the grid that doesn't have observations. So in hope that in, we hope to mitigate bias in this way. But one of the problem with this method is Without context to these grids, without environmental data to fill the context, to the model, the grids are all the same and doesn't take into consideration that different, every grid can have different environments. What it does is that results will be inaccurate. So our conclusion is Bernoulli distribution model will not work for our data. And what we need to do is to find something more specific and take, can take into account more different factors, uh, such as species distribution models. This is a model that will take into account environmental data, species uh, observation data, and design specifically for data for natural observation. We did manage to produce a dashboard that's satisfactory and functional. And we are handing all our research on the subject of bias mitigation, species distribution model, machine learning and such for our next group that will carry on our mantle. What's really, really challenged in, in the end is that the spe species distribution model proved to be way too, complex, too complicated for us to handle uh, with the time frame we got and it's a real shame that we couldn't manage to pull it off. What I learned during this project is, well, for starter coding, I have no prior experience, and I learned a great deal in working with Python language. I also learned how to work with the interdisciplinary team, and I learned to work with different backgrounds and learn from each other. Another very important thing I learned is to have a clear scope for the project, so we avoid wasting time on dead ends and we can progress smoothly. I also learned that AI and machine learning are surprisingly easy to understand conceptually. However, to actually apply it in practice is not a matter entirely. It is in reality quite complicated and require a lot of hard skills.